In this tutorial, I'll demonstrate how to create an assignment, how to post, schedule, or save a draft assignment, how to edit an assignment, and how to delete an assignment in Google Classroom. Notice that I have my Google Classroom set up and I'm inside that Google Classroom at this point. To create an assignment, I'm going to go to the bottom right, hover over the Add button or the plus sign, and select Create an Assignment. First, you need to enter the title and also notice that you have the option to add instructions. In this example, I'll be giving students an exit ticket to complete in Google Classroom. Add the instructions. Next, look at the due date. By default, assignments have no due date. And to change this, you need to click the down arrow select a date, and you can also set a due time by clicking time and entering a time. To add a topic to an assignment, next to no topic, select the down arrow, select create topic, and enter a topic name. Next, add materials to your assignment. You can add attachments like Google Drive files, hyperlinks, or even YouTube videos to your assignment. To upload a file from your computer, click the attach icon, select a file from your computer, and select open. Once you have the file selected, click upload. To attach a Google Drive item such as a Google Doc or even a Google Form, click the drive icon, Select the item and click Add. To attach a YouTube video, click the YouTube icon and choose an option. You can search for a video to attach or you can attach a video link. To search for a video, use the video search box. Enter the keywords. and select the search icon. Click the video and select add. To attach a video link, select URL, paste the YouTube URL here, and click add. To attach a hyperlink to an assignment, click the link icon, enter the URL or you can paste it in, and select Add Link. If at any time you'd like to delete an attachment, click the X to remove the attachment. When working with Google Docs as an attachment to an assignment, you have some options to determine how you'd like students to interact with the attachment. Click the down arrow next to the attachment and choose an option. You can allow students to view the file, edit the file, or you can make a copy for each student. When students can view the file, they can read the file but not edit it. When students can edit the file, all students share the same file and all students can make changes to that file. When you make a copy for each student, each student receives an individual copy of the file that they can edit. The student's name is automatically added to the title of the document. And when a student turns in the assignment, the teacher will see the file labeled with the student's name. It's important to make sure that you are choosing the correct option. If you'd like students to work collaboratively, you may want them to edit the same file. If you'd like students to work individually, you probably want to make a copy for each student. To post the assignment immediately, select Assign. To schedule the assignment to post later, next to Assign, click the down arrow and select Schedule. Next to the date, click the down arrow and select a date and a time. Click Schedule. The assignment will automatically be posted at the scheduled date and time. To save an assignment as a draft, next to the Assign button, click the down arrow and select Save Draft. You can always see scheduled and draft posts 
by clicking Saved Posts at the top of the class stream. To edit a posted assignment next to the assignment, click the three dots for more options and select Edit. Make any changes that you would like to make and select Save. For a scheduled assignment, go to the Saved Posts, click the assignment, make any changes that you need to make and select Schedule. And the process will work the same way for a draft assignment. Simply go to your saved posts, click the assignment, make any changes that you'd like to make. Next to assign, hit the down arrow and select save draft. If you find at some point that you need to delete an assignment, you can. Keep a couple of things in mind. First, when you delete an assignment, all grades and comments related to the assignment will be deleted. However, any attachments or files created by you or the students will still be available in Google Drive. Once deleted, there is no way to undo deleting an assignment, so please be sure that deleting an assignment is something that you really want to do. To delete a posted assignment, next to the assignment, click the three dots for more options and select Delete. Hit the Delete button again to confirm. To delete a draft or scheduled assignment at the top, look at your saved posts and then next to the assignment, click the X to remove and delete to confirm.